Now, let's answer a question from one of our followers at ito ay naka-comment sa isa sa ating mga videos sa YouTube. Galing kay Sir Joer or Joer Gemma A. Ito yung tanong, speed problem. Pasahin natin. A can do as much work in 6 days as C in 10 days. B can do as much work in 6 days as C can do in 4 days. What time would be required to do a work if A takes 48 days to finish it? Dapat, parang may kulang sa question, dapat uh, kinukumpara ito, parang kinukumpara talaga ito sa isa, either sa B or sa C. At ito yung mga choices. But before we will start, para sa mga first time pa sa channel ko, ito yung FB natin. At sa mga naghahanap na mga libreng printable na reviewers, punta kayo dito sa Philippine Civil Service Review for All, FB group ito. Punta kayo sa files ng grupong ito at yung detali kung paano nyo ma-download, ilalagay ko yung link sa description ng video ito. At ito naman yung iba pang mga FB groups na lagi nating tinatambayan at FB pages na posibleng makatulong sa inyo. By the way, salamat pala sa lahat ng nag-subscribe dito sa ating Lunalin vlog na isas, isang YouTube channel natin. Now, let's read again the problem. A can do as much work in 6 days as C in 10 days. B can do as much work in 6 days as C can do in 4 days. Since meron itong tatlo tapos inulit si C, ganito ang gagawin natin. A, C, B. Erasure natin ito. We can solve this in two ways. So, dito muna tayo. Isimplihan muna tayo. A, C, B. Ngayon si A, 6 days. Si C, ay 10 days. Now, yung isa namang kinukumpara, B can do as much work in 6 days, 6 days. As C can do it in 4 days. Ilis muna natin itong 6 by 10 by finding the greatest common factor para doon tayo sa mga maliliit na mga numbers ba. Ang greatest common factor dyan ay 2. So, 6 divided by 2, this is 3. 10 divided by 2 and that is 5. Yung isa naman ay ilis din natin yan by finding the greatest fac common, common factor which is 2. So, 4 divided by 2, this is 2. 6 divided by 2 and this is 3. In other words, instead na 6 by 10, pwede naman ang isulat natin ay itong 3 by 5. 3 by 5 or 3 is to 5. Yung isa naman, instead na 4 is to 6, pwede naman ang isulat natin ay itong 2 is to 3. 2 is to 3. So ngayon, Para makumpara natin si A kay B, para ba silang tatlo ba pwede natin ikumpara, isulat silang tatlo as ratio natin, i-multiply natin ito. Ito muna. 5 times 2 and this is 10. Kung nag-multiply tayo sa 5, i-multiply din natin ito. 5 times 3 and this is 15. Next, ito namang si 3 dito. Ang i-multiply natin dito ay itong 2. 3 times 2 and this is 6. So, bali itong tatlo ay 6 is to 10 is to 15. Now, the question. What time would be required to do a job if A takes 48 days to finish? Kung ito daw si A ay 48, maging 48 itong 6. Paano maging 48 si 6? 48 divided by 6, and that is 8. Therefore, itong si 6, i-multiply natin ng 8, kaya naging 48. Ngayon, para malaman natin, kasi sa question, may kulang yata sa question. 48 days, ilan naman kaya kung si C or si B? Kung nag-multiply tayo ng 8 sa 6, Mag-multiply tayo ng 8 din dito sa kanilang lahat. Kung si letter C, 10 times 8 and that is 80. It takes 
80 days, kung 48 days, si letter A, wala sa choices. Kung si letter B, 15 times 8, and this is 120. Now, if A takes 48 days, si B takes 120 days. So, therefore, ang sagot dito ay letter C. Siguro ang tanong dito, what time would itong B na to, malamang B yan siya, what time B require to do a job, to do a work, if A takes 48 days to finish? Ang sagot ay 120 days. Another way of solving this, doon muna tayo sa mismong given. A, maka-work si A in 6 days na matrabaho ni C in 10 days. Ibig sabihin, kung si A ay trabahoin niya in 1 day, then C can do it in 10 over 6 days days. Therefore, kung si A ay mag-work in 48 days, C can do it in 10 over 6 times 48, so 140 divided by 6, and this is 80 days. So, kung matrabaho ni A uh, within 48 days, Ito namang si C ay matrabaho niya in 80 days. Now, B can do his work in 6 days. Sa so 6 days ni B ay matrabaho yan ni C in 4 days. Therefore, kung si B ay mag-work in 1 day, si C ay matrabaho niya yan in 4 over 6 day lang. Or itong si C ay ma-work niya in one day, yan ay matatrabaho ni B in 6 over 4 days. So therefore, kung itong si C ay trabahuin niya in 80 days, bakit doon tayo sa 80 days? Kasi itong 80 days ay equivalent siya sa trabaho ni A na 48 days. Kung si A mag-work in 48 days, Matatrabaho yan ni C within 80 days. Now, kung si C ay matrabaho niya in 80 days, ikumpara para makumpara natin sa B. Now, si B ay matrabaho yan niya ng 6 over 4. I-multiply natin sa 80. 6 times 80, 480 over 4. Or pwede namang shortcut tayo dito. This is 20. 20 times 6. 120 days. So, therefore, kung si A takes 48 days, si C will take it in 80 days, while si B naman ay 120 days. Now, kung ang tanong ay what would B require to do a job if A takes 48 days to finish it? The answer is 120 days. Ma'am, medyo naguluhan kami. Huwag nyo lang pangunahan ng takot. Huwag panghinaan ng loob kasi yung math na naman. Relax lang. Watch this video again. Listen. Listen with your heart. Relax lang. Kaya nyo yan. At lagi ko nang sinasabi ito. Never memorize the answer because that will never help you. Kundi yung paraan kung paano natin ito sinagutan. Thank you and God bless.